broken bones. When you fall or hit something hard, the bones in your body can break. Are you okay, Lily? I broke my arm playing football. The doctor took an x-ray. The x-ray lets the doctors see the bones. And that's how they can tell it was broken. Bones break in different ways, and it's important to see how they are broken. The bones could be crushed, or broken in just one place, or have a hairline fracture, which is a tiny break in the bones. I have that hairline one. Sometimes a bone can poke through the skin as an open fracture. I'm glad I like that. So bones break like sticks? Yes, but unlike sticks, bones can fix themselves. But they need to be kept still to heal in the right way. That's why I have this cast. It's like a special shell to stop my fractured bone from moving. At least my arm won't be broken forever. And I can get the polis to sign my cast too. Now let's test your memory. <laughs> burp. A burp is the sound of air coming all the way up from your stomach and out of your mouth. Look, I made a drink. Orange juice and fizzy water. Willow, if you have to burp, the polite thing to do is cover your mouth and say, excuse me. Excuse me? Where did that come from? When you eat and drink, you swallow air. This air goes down your esophagus. Esophagus? It's a tube that connects your mouth to your stomach. The swallowed air travels down the esophagus, Whee! But sometimes the air gets trapped inside the stomach. The air needs somewhere to go, so it goes back up the esophagus and wait for it. You get a burp. Everyone burps, don't they? Even babies. So burps are swallowed air that gets trapped. Exactly. And some drinks have air bubbles in them. Which means you swallow extra air and burp more. My trapped air needs to get out. Excuse me. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> Mucus. Mucus is very important for our body. Ooh, Chester, it sounds like your nose is full of mucus. Mucus? What's mucus? Thank you, Nash. <laughs> that is mucus. Ew. You mean snot? <laughs> Exactly, Chester. Mucus has many names, but it only has one job. To protect our bodies. Mucus traps small particles such as pollen, dust, or germs. And stops them from getting inside our bodies. All this happens inside our nose? Mucus is also found in our throats and lungs. We make a lot of mucus every day. Enough to fill up a milk carton. Huh? That is a lot. My snot feels dry. That's because your mucus is now a booger. It's best to blow that booger out into a tissue. Don't pick or eat it. Hmm, yeah. If I ate the booger, I'd be letting in stuff that my body worked hard to keep out. Exactly. Great work, mucus. Let's spell. <laughs> Finger.
fingerprints. Everybody has different fingerprints. Hmm. Hi, Chester. What are you looking for? Someone drank my blueberry and double chalk smoothie. I want to find out who, but all I've got to go on are the prints on the glove. Those prints might be all you need, Chester, because every fingerprint is different. Match the print to the finger, and you'll know exactly who took the smoothie. Really? No two fingerprints are the same? How can that be? Fingerprints are made when the baby is inside its mother's womb. <gasps> Before they're born? As the baby moves, it touches things in the womb, like the placenta and the liquid it's floating in. That makes the prints the way they are when the baby is born. I see. Because no baby moves in exactly the same way, not even twins. The fingerprints will all be completely different. There are three main types of fingerprint shapes. This one is world. Ooh, that print looks loopy. Well noticed, Chester. That's a loop print. And this is arched. Now I know all about fingerprints. I'm sure to find out who drank my smoothie. Huh? These are hoof prints. <laughs> I forgot I drank it earlier. Whoops. Find the matching numbers. <laughs> Urine. Urinating or peeing is your body's way of getting rid of liquids. What's on your mind, Marco? I'm wondering where this water goes after I drink it. Your body takes the water it needs to keep healthy. The kidneys then filter the waste in the blood to make pee. What happens then? The pee goes to your bladder, which is like a balloon. There's a balloon full of pee in there? Then, when your body's ready to release it... You pee! Most people pee between four and ten times a day. I wonder how many times I go. It's not good to hold it in, so you should pee as often as you need to. Why is pee yellow? It's usually light yellow, but it could be different colors. But if it's dark, you should tell a grown-up, as it might mean you're not drinking enough water. Ah, okay. I'm definitely drinking enough today. Gotta go, sorry. You did say not to hold it in.